Today we talk about anatomy of a router. Why routing? Have you ever wondered what happens when you click on a link in a browser and you get the results within seconds or I should say within milliseconds? Basically there are many devices and technologies that basically work together to enable this but one of the main component of this uh, overall structure is a router. The function of a router is to perform routing of traffic between networks. As you can see from the slide, if you want to send a packet from one machine to another machine, then that router is going to come in between and it helps to forward the traffic from one device to another device. So, routers are computers. Routers interconnect networks, which means routers are used to connect multiple networks together. And they choose the best path. Okay. So, routers have CPUs, um, central processing unit, just like a PC you have in your home. So, routers have uh, CPUs, processors. Router have their own uh, operating systems. And then they have RAM, random access memory, ROM, read only memory. Routers also have some special memory that includes flash and NVRAM, non volatile random access memory. So, a router has access to four types of memory. The first type is a RAM. It's a volatile memory, which means that the data in the RAM is not permanent. And it basically stores the running uh, operating system. And if we talk about Cisco, the IOS that runs in a Cisco device is called an I Cisco IOS. And it also basically stores uh, the running configuration file. And this is the configuration file that stores the configuration commands that the router IUS is currently using. RAM also stores the IP uh, routing uh, file, which basically contains the information about where and how to forward the packet to which interface. And it also stores the ARP tables, which I should say ARP cache. And this is uh, a cache which includes the entries or the mappings uh, from IP to MAC addresses. It also stores uh, the packet buffer, which is uh, a memory area where the packets are, are stored or buffered before they can be uh, switched to the uh, interface if there is already a packet uh, being served at a particular interface in the router. The next type of memory in a router is called a ROM. It's a non-volatile uh, memory and it stores uh, boot up instructions also uh, basic diagnostic softwares for power on self uh, test uh, uh, components and uh, it also stores a limited uh, you know uh, version of ios this is for backup if the router is for some reason unable to load the full ios it basically you know uh, loads the limited ios uh, from rom the third type is nvram it is also non volatile and it basically stores the startup configuration file. The fourth type is flash. It's non-volatile and it stores the IOS and also the other system files. This is the IOS that is stored in flash. That IOS is basically loaded into the RAM from the flash when the router is boot up. Okay, so now let's look into the router uh, backplane. Uh, what are the type of ports, the interfaces we have? So we have console uh, ports, console interfaces. So there are two types of console ports, uh, one for the USB uh, mini uh, uh, type B console port and the other is uh, RJ45 uh, console port. And then we have an auxiliary uh, port, uh, you know, in the router. That auxiliary port is basically an RJ45 port for remote management access. This is similar to the console port, basically, you know, for the initial configuration and command line interface management access. 
okay and you also have uh, LAN interfaces on the back side of the router and these LAN interfaces uh, are basically gigabit Ethernet interfaces uh, for LAN access so two ports in it in a typical uh, Cisco 1941 uh, router and then we have uh, enhanced high-speed WAN interface cards two slots for them and these are basically you know uh, these these two slots are used basically you know provide modularity and flexibility by enabling the router to support different types of interface modules including a serial interface module DSL interface module switch ports and wireless uh, interface modules and then there is also uh, you know uh, two uh, four uh, gigabyte flash uh, card uh, slots and they are basically used to expand the storage uh, capacity of a router this is a typical uh, backplane of, of a Cisco 1941 router so it really depends on the type of router that you purchase and uh, you know it varies from from router to router but most of the routers have these type of ports the only difference would be the number of ports that there uh, there are in a particular router okay we also have some uh, USB uh, ports so two USB ports and uh, in order to connect to a router there are multiple options uh, we have a WAN interface, we have auxiliary ports to basically, you know, get uh, management access, uh, console based, and we have LAN interfaces for connectivity to the router, and we also have, uh, you know, console based uh, USB um, access uh, method or ports in a router. Okay, so a router interface is a physical uh, connector that enables a router to send or receive packets and uh, there are multiple types of interfaces uh, there uh, could be uh, you know an ethernet interface uh, in a router fast ethernet interfaces gigabit ethernet interface serial interface dsl interface cable interface and isdn interfaces so for lan and wan interfaces uh, these are the slots which uh, which you can see uh, from the slide and the uh, particular slot that you know the the long uh, slot is for the WAN interfaces and these two uh, LAN interfaces are basically the uh, router interfaces and you can also group these uh, interfaces into two categories one is the Ethernet LAN interface and to configure it it requires an IP address and it should be enabled and the second type is uh, basically a serial WAN interface and it also requires an IP address and it should be enabled in order to basically uh, perform the connection on a particular router so uh, we talked about the anatomy of a router we discussed um, the function of a router why routing what is the purpose of a router and we also looked into the backplane uh, of a router the different types of interfaces uh, and ports uh, in a particular Cisco 1941 router